blockade that continues, protests in Canada have been growing. It's having a major impact on America's supply chain already. Uh, truckers with the Freedom Convoy shutting down a third border crossing. They are now impacting travel into Michigan, North Dakota, and Montana. The Biden administration calling on the Canadian government to step in and end all this. Kelsey Kernstein is going to have a closer look at how the protests are affecting car makers in a moment. But right now, we want to start with Ruta Bay Shabazi. She's been live for us in Ottawa, Canada. Ruta Bay. Adrian, good morning. This is one street I just want to show you. It looks appears to be a normal street, even though it's barricaded at the bottom. But then turn around and look at this. And this gives you a really good idea of how the gridlock has just completely uh, siphoned off the entire downtown area, which is also the seat of government in Canada, the capital city here. There now are emergency measures in place. The government saying that uh, vehicle seizures will be in effect. We have not seen any of that yet. In fact, we've seen it uh, grow bigger, more and more people coming in, even ahead of this weekend when it's supposed to get down to a negative 14 degrees. That is not stopping these truckers and protesters who are joining them. Well, waiting for badge numbers and he's being arrested. You know why he's being arrested. I don't know why he's being arrested, sir. Tensions rising near the U.S. border. <laughs> Temperatures dropping in the capital. As more protesters join in what the police call the occupation of Ottawa. Officers hitting the streets, issuing nearly 2,000 tickets and making 25 arrests yesterday. We're going to get rid of a lot of lies and corruptions. Just like one of the presidents in the past from the U.S. has said, he's going to drain the swamp. Stephanie Petuli is a trucker and mother of five and brought her daughter with her on the 27-hour drive. We've brought our children in our trucks for as long as we can remember. I, I don't feel that they're in any danger whatsoever. Um, if anything, this is an experience for them and one that they will remember forever. So you can't learn that in the classroom. Protesters again shutting down the Ambassador Bridge in both directions. The city of Windsor asking for an injunction to remove them. The act of defiance hitting the supply chain and causing economic hardship on both sides of the border. Western used to be very full, very busy, but uh, now we don't have much people at all. It's uh, sad, but... It's a reality. Joe Thottengall, who owns Thali Restaurant in downtown Ottawa, has started a GoFundMe to help businesses in the area like his already struggling to climb out of the pandemic. He says he's lost 85% of his business since the truckers blocked the streets and food is going bad. We are in a crisis for the sh labor shortage and we need to keep our employees so that when we get back to normal, we get busy and we need people. Some of the demonstrators say they can relate to money problems. Kelsey Spencer is an unemployed oil worker. Like everybody's here struggling. Most of us don't have work. Most of us hitchhike. Some of us drove. Like we're all here for a better cause because we know Canada is better than this. And back out here live, I just want to give you a perspective that we can't normally do when everyone's awake. This is a complete full circle, completely blocked off, uh, an intersection, five-way intersection, uh, completely obstructed by these truckers who really have taken down over the downtown area. Also yesterday, a blockade on the way to the airport, a huge traffic jam there for protests. And yesterday, the 911 call center and the non-emergency line flooded uh, purposely, the authorities say, with calls to, to occupy those lines as well, Adrian. And, and out here, the standoff continues. All right, Ruta Bay, yes, uh, showing no signs of stopping. Uh, thank you so much. Now, as we've been reporting... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.